G'day, uh, good afternoon, guten tag, etc. So here's a little video on Sail Away by Neil Young. Um, the thing with this one is it's trying to get the rhythm just right. You've got to go quite gentle and you've got to go quite, uh, well, yeah, quite gentle really, I suppose. And it's also faster than you might think. At least it's, that's how it appears to me. So it's going to go something like this. Then it repeats that bit, and then you got as long as we can sail away, as long as we can sail away. If you are interested in that, by the way, it's on the fourth string. You have to move your first finger from the fifth to the fourth, and then add the pinky on the on the fourth fret, fourth string. Just steps out from open, second, and fourth, and back. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Um, so while we're here, is is uh, this is part of my beginners course, and um, the rhythm. Uh, well, the chords go G, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4. That is the introduction. It's also the verses. Okay, so let's look at that first. The rhythm is, I think the key thing here, as I say, as I said at the beginning, really, is to get it nice and gentle. Um, it's, but it's still only boom chaka. It's just boom chaka, boom chaka, boom chaka, boom chaka, boom. I could live inside a teepee. I could die in penthouse 35. A little bit high for me, but uh, you know, that's all it does. On the G. Most of my beginners, this is probably just slightly faster than you're used to it. That's all it is. So again, if you're struggling with the rhythm on this, you'd slow it right down. Um, I could live inside a TP. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four. And again, G. Two, three, four, A minor. Two. G, two, three, four. Okay, the speed you do it at doesn't really matter. I mean, you just do your own version of it. Unless you want to play along with him, in which case, stick him on YouTube and play along, you know, or on Spotify, or whatever. It's in the correct key, it's in the original key, so you can play along with the original recording. Um, and there isn't really much more to it, uh, it is quite straightforward. Um, the thing that throws people is the chorus. And that's because if you're looking at the song sheet right now, it goes D for as long as we can sail away, G for away, D again, as long as we can sail away, and away has C and D written on it. Well, you've got to remember, as long as we can sail is the same length as away. So just think of it like that. So you've got D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D again, one, Two, three, four, C, two, D, two, G, two, three, four, A minor, two, then it repeats, four, C for two, D for two, G, two, three, four. Okay? So just to explain that whilst I'm not playing, D, two, three, four, 
G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, two, D, two, G, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, four. C, two, D, two, G, two, three, four. And it starts again. You stay on the G for the next verse. Okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Rewind this video, watch it again and again and again if you like. The only thing, other thing you need to know is the very last line, it repeats a couple of times. As long as we can sail away. It does it again. C, D, G. And I think you might do it again. As long as we can sail away. And actually, it's a good way to practice it. If the C and the D is the thing that's throwing you out, just practice that. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. C for two, D for two, G, two, three, four. Do it again. C for two, D for two, G, two, three, four. Boom, chucka, 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 boom. C. Do it with the lyrics. As long as we can sail away. As long as we can sail away. You might find it slightly easier with your fingers, by the way, because it's just a softer sound. The other thing you can do if you want a slightly softer sound is don't play the five and six strings. Just play the uh, the, the four skinny ones. You just get a lighter sound there. So when you're playing G, although you can play all six, you could just go. Same on the A minor. Same on the G. You can kind of add your own kind of interpretation of that, really. Um, and there's really not much more I can say about that one. It's just getting used to where the changes are. Listen to the music. Spend a lot of time listening to the song. Get to know the song, follow it through. So when he's playing it, for example, if you're listening to it on Spotify, I could live inside a... Follow the lyrics, get to know the song. Do that first. You always get to know the song first. Then work out, do I know the chords and can I change them quick enough? Which if I've shown you this one, probably you can, yeah. Um, and then can I change from C to D to G quick enough? C to D to G quick enough. And can I go boom, chucka, boom, chucka, boom, chucka, boom, chucka. And then it's putting it all together. If it's falling apart when you're putting it all together, try and break it down and go, why is it falling apart? Where is it falling apart? And as I say, for most people, it's going to be that last line. Or, you know, it's going to say, um, as long as we can sail away, as long as we can sail away. And you can do it again. Away. You can break it down and repeat that, or it's the same as the last line. As long as we can sail away. It feels like it's in a different place, but it's still the same chord progression. Although the lyrics are placed differently, it's still the same chord progression. I might, I mean, maybe that's what's throwing some people, but just make sure you're counting. D, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, two, three. Sorry, C. Two, uh, ah, I'm doing D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, two, one, two, G, two. Okay, hope that's all you need. Good luck. Let me know how you get on. Cheers.